I am the greatest. Yo, what is going on you guys? It's your boy Alvarez and I am back with some more Madden 17. Today we have Mr. LeGarrette Blunt himself, Playoff Edition, 94 overall. He does have the battle ready chemistry and he does have New England times too. Let's hop over and look at the stats real quick. This guy has a 90 speed, 86 agility, 93 excel, 96 trucking, 95 ball carry vision, 81 elusiveness, 96 trucking with the 86 juke move. Looking at some of the hidden stats on the back of this car, this man has a 93 strength. Damn! He also has a 96 stiff arm and a 93 spin move. Looking at the price for Mr. LeGarrette Blunt, he is running about 300,000 coins. I did scoop mine up for about 360,000 coins, so that is a big plus for you guys if you guys are looking to buy. Hopping into some of the highlights with Mr. LeGarrette Blunt, this card definitely fought for a lot of extra yards. He's definitely a ground and pound running back when it comes to picking up two to three yards pretty much every carry. You can see here, uh, we couldn't really run to the outside too much with him. It was pretty much all inside zone and pretty much running in between the tackles instead of trying to run to the outside. And especially, that's not even LeGarrette Blunt's kind of play style. You can see that we bust up the middle and gain uh, some nice yards there. But this guy always fought for extra yards. Uh, you can see here we throw a nice little pass to him. Didn't have uh, any problems with him catching the ball. He does have a 65 catching, but this is a big play for me right here. Like I said, he always fights for extra yards. He's always falling forward. So if you guys are looking for that running back that can uh, grind you two or three yards a carry, uh, go take a look at this LeGarrette Blunt, man. Now hopping into some of the pros and cons. Some pros are that LeGarrette fought for extra yards. Uh, he didn't fumble for me in two seasons, which is pretty nice. 90% of the time, he always falls forward, and his chems are very good. When I look for a running back, I like battle ready, so all I have to know is when I get into that battle ready animation, all I have to do is push A. Hopping into the cons now, he just lacked uh, big play abilities, which like when we broke out into open field, he was either getting caught or he couldn't really get into open field just because he just felt kind of slow. Uh, and that comes into number two, he didn't feel smooth or quick at all. He is pricey, 300k is a lot for a running back, and he did lack the battle ready animations. I didn't get too many of those, which is kind of a downer, especially because he has that battle ready chem. When I do my player review, guys, I play three games with this card, so this card pretty much has three games to give me its first impression, and it pretty much tells me from there on going. From there on forth, whether or not this card's going to be good or not. Uh, just depending on if this card's going to play good its first three games, I, I shouldn't have no doubt that it'll play good more into the future. If I had to rate this card on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, I'd give this card a 8 out of 10. Pretty much for each con that I mention, I knock off half a point. So I did name four cons. So that comes out to a total of two points. So this card gets a eight out of 10. And that's not a bad grade at all. I'm not saying this card sucks. I'm not saying this card's bad. This card's actually really good. Uh, B rating is not bad at all. If I had to recommend you guys getting this card, I would say give them a shot, especially if that's kind of your guys' running style. Me personally, I still think that first uh, team of the week, David Johnson, 89 overall bat already is the best running back in the game so far. He can do everything. For some reason, his big play ability is huge, but we're not talking about him. We're talking about Mr. Blunt himself. And uh, like I said, I would recommend you guys giving him a shot. Uh, maybe when his price drops a little bit under uh, 300,000 coins, 300,000 coins is definitely a lot for a running back. But give him a shot, man. I don't I don't have too many uh, downfalls for this guy. He ground and pounds with the rock. He doesn't fumble. Um, me personally, I just want more big play abilities and more battle ready animations. There it is, you guys. My player review on LeGarrette Blunt 94 overall playoff edition. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, man. Uh, like I say in all my player reviews, these are just my opinions, my advice, my suggestions, my experiences with these cards. But if you guys enjoyed it, man, definitely smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you guys have any uh, suggestions on who you guys want to see next, definitely leave a comment in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.